Hello, hello everybody. What's up? Dennis Allen, City Boy Home Center here. I am at the one and only Araz Station. I forgot. What was it? Araz Station. Stop. Yeah, Araz. Um, I'm going to pause and read out of what it is. I don't know what it is, but it looked cool. Um, I was Googling. I'm going coming from Old Forgies from the Hot Springs down to... Um, where am I going? Down to Phoenix to see my buddy Michael. But luckily I brought my Jeep-inspired Honda minivan. We drove up here. So I'm going to check it out and see what, if there's anything exciting here. It's definitely beautiful. Can you see it? I'm going to try to flip the camera. It's very old. I know I read on the Googles that people are upset that it's just exposed like this. So I read all <clears throat> the history of this place and I have no idea. Some people said it was part of the Butterfield stage coach, but then somebody that seemed like they knew a little bit more said it wasn't. It was near the, oh look at that, oh it's toilets, um, the Colorado River, which is, that's the sun, what time is it now? It's afternoon, so I think it's setting that way, so that must be south, so that must be Mexico. You like my accent? There's a railroad station right there. Not a station. A choo-choo track. There's no station. This might have been a railroad tra station. Um, yeah, couldn't find much information about it. But someone said it's 150 years old. Uh, it's pretty amazing. In great shape for being so old. You can see they ran wood beams in there to make a roof. Eddie Murphy already found the cool spot. He understands engineering. I'm going to do some rock climbing, climb up this, and then try to jump and do a backflip onto that one. That's not true. Look at this thing. So, oh, I guess that's the original wood. Maybe one of the beams, I guess they ran. Oh, so yeah, that must have been a second floor. Oh, I see. Yeah, it was probably second floor. So they built that in there. There's another plank probably that came out there. Again, folks, I have no idea. I'm just making stuff up as I go. Look at that. Is that glass? Did someone throw a bottle at this? I mean, how's that glass in there? I mean, that's... I shouldn't even be taking that off, but... I mean, it could be the original glass. Oh, boy. Put it up there. Shh. Nobody... I hope my YouTube production... Look at the old nails. We're definitely not going to take those. That's cool. Oh, it says it's cool in there. Um, yeah, sorry if, if I don't, I shouldn't have taken that off. Look, I, I mean, idiots carved their name in there. Unless those are the people that built it, and then they're not idiots. But, they put some kind of cement over it. So, I don't think that's traditional adobe. Wow, that looks like wind erosion. Again, no idea, I'm making that up. This is the other side. I guess you would call that the bow or the port side. Or maybe the stern. Don't be too stern with me if I'm wrong. Yeah, so the history on this, not really sure too much about it. If anybody knows better, let me know. I know people that are part of the West Texas uh, agri... Uh, what do you call it? When you study old, study old stuff, like railroad stations. They follow my videos sometimes. Well, they watched a couple because I have the Butterfield stage route on my property. And at first I was thinking this is part of it, but it's not. But it's still cool. And there's Eddie Murphy. They did say something 80 yards. I don't know if they said behind it. There. Oh, maybe that's it over there. I see a structure maybe that was burnt. Maybe we'll go take a walk over there, but I doubt it. I'm gonna look on the Google satellite. But that could just be an old truck, which would kind of be cool. Yeah, this looks like it was a, a swamp. 
that dried up like the rest of California. It's probably spring over there, that's why it's wet. I don't know. This is gonna be a short video. Maybe this will be a 420 video. But I talk a lot, so it'll probably be a six <clears throat> six fifty. Let's see if I got it right. Look, we're doing all kind of look, that's old from our founding forefathers. Or I don't know, maybe less than four or more five fathers. I don't know. Alright, nothing else here. Uh, I'm gonna go take a walk. I'm gonna go see what that thing is over there and see if I can find an old stagecoach, maybe. And I can take it. I don't think it's true. Oh, there's a lot of trash. Kind of cool. Um, this has definitely been full of water at some time, some point, and whoa, this stuff is it's like walking on cocaine. Not saying I've ever walked on cocaine before, folks, but I do love the smell of it. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that's a joke. I mean, not saying I've never done it, but I definitely don't do it now. Unless you got some. Do you have any? Oh, Eddie Murphy. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. That's a bottle. Broken. There's a little fire there. Somebody was probably trying to make some chimichurri. Oh shoot, oh shoot. That stuff is slippery. This is like Bombay Beach. Look at it. Oh wow. It's like, um, wow. It's like Play-Doh. Not the philosopher. Was he a philosopher? I don't even know. Not the famous guy. The uh, putty stuff. All right, we're gonna go to this structure and I already lost where the other structure went. I really hope this is not toxic. We think Eddie, Eddie doesn't even like walking in it. Um, doesn't smell bad. I don't know if that's a sign of anything, good or bad. But it's definitely, man, mushy. Mushy is a good word. I think that's the scientific word. Yeah, there's something out there. It looks like just a something new there's a big steel look at this thing wow that's definitely a meteorite landing hold on we gotta go look at this see like wood burnt wow that's pretty huh. so what happened here oh this is definitely some kind of ufo crash site that's where the ufo alien came out Unless there was a tree. No, I don't know. Those might be new tree branches. Oh man, should I walk on it? I mean, this could be a volcano. But look, all the soil is burnt. What the heck? Is it hot? Oh, so, oh, I. That's a good point. Hmm. So, ay ay ay. This could be. I mean, what the heck is going on? It's hot. Oh, so this might be one of those mud pits. Yeah, that, that could be because it's warm and it looks like everything's... Imagine if this fell in. No, don't even say that, Dennis Allen. But what... No, that's cold in there. I have no idea. I mean, I don't know what kind of UFO, but I definitely know it's a UFO landing spot. Because it looks like we're on Mars. It definitely reminds me of walking on Mars. Even though I've never walked on Mars, but I've seen enough cartoons to know, wow, what Mars would feel like. Oh, wow, I'm glad we made it. Oh, I mean, we didn't make it yet, Dennis Allen. Look at the old cars. There's an old trunk, there's an airplane. Oh, cool. So these must have been tossed in here as crime scenes. Look at that, we're gonna take this with us. Oh, that's a little too rusty. But look, it's been under a 
toxic riverbed for many years. I don't know if that's true, but it's doing pretty good still. Because this is what happens when you have a car in Pennsylvania for, you know, like a year and you don't wax it every day. Oh, wow. What kind of vehicle is this? This is cool. Look at that. Can I take that? Take momentum. Oh, see? Now I'm double doing bad stuff. It's pretty amazing. It just kind of just like melted into the earth. Going back to nature. And I'm going back to Cali. Let's go see what that vehicle is. Oh, see, this one is hard. That's interesting. Man, this place freaks me out. This is probably so toxic, that's what caused the fire. Oh look, a train! Sorry, I'm a little kid. Can you see it? Oh, you can't really see it. Oh, that's things. Anyway, here's the next vehicle. This is a Datsui. Holy cow, look at it. everything is just Wow, so trippy. That's amazing. Oops, look at this thing. That's definitely some kind of alien thing. Um, can anybody tell me what kind of vehicle this is from? Look, there's a good piece. That's probably worth uh, a lot of money because it's probably hard to get them from this old vehicle. But I'm not going to take that. I'm going to put it back here. Oh, look. The, the fender trim is still there. It must be stainless. What does it say? England? Yeah, so this does look like a little British car. I could tell by the taillights. Made in England, see? It's a... Uh, Lucas? That's not Lotus. Lucas. I guess they're the ones that made the tail lights. But I could probably sell those on eBay, clean them up. This is a vintage automobile. I'd probably restore this to a frame up. Starting with, I guess, building a frame. The engine. I think the engine was there. And it was aluminum and disintegrated from a fire. Cause this stuff usually doesn't burn. Um, look, someone took the topper. The train is still going, folks. Oh, and there's the end. Nope, that's not the end. Uh, wow. Amazing. There's the frame. Oh yeah, so we don't have to build a new frame. We got it right there. We just gotta store it. Fender's still good. Got the hinges. Oh, there's something we, you know, we can just clean those up. Some WD-40. Another hinge there. So whoever made this car, look at the dashboard. Oh man, the instrument cluster. Look at that. That's cool. I mean, this is, oh yeah. Yeah, if I wanted to take more junk, I'd be taking some of this junk. Oh, there's another one. That's a Chevy. Wow, this is crazy. This is turning into a junkyard video. I worked at a junkyard, folks, from, I don't know, I was 17. To maybe 19 something like that but I used to cut up cars into pieces like that some of them may have oh I'm not even gonna say definitely not stolen but we weren't always legal on why we cut up cars so I'll say look at that thing that's the handle that's how hot it is here in the desert no that's from um, a fire yeah, people were talking about fires the other day, about Hawaii, and they were saying things melt at some crazy temperatures. Like, no, a regular car fire will do that, because look, a regular car fire did that. Well, actually, this is a UFO landing site, so I guess that train's still going. Yeah, I'm starting to get dizzy and lightheaded myself. What kind of car is this? This also looks European. I don't know why there's so many Europeans in Southern California. There's something else over there. And look, dead body. He was sleeping there. 
nothing too exciting here just an old thing maybe a prison so and this round thing oh it must have been a tire and that's all the fiberglass in the uh wheel wells oh that must have smelled good that's probably what started this a tire yep this is what the doctor says the wind is blowing this for direction so a truck overheated a tire or whatever and if you know maybe it's the axle broke and it rolled off started a fire and it burned all that um i'm just saying that so the men in black don't come and get me because i know the truth about the alien landing damn now i said that so maybe they will still come get me i wish i i mean i, I did actually kind of see that there was a road over here so i guess i could have just driven but i was being lazy and it was more fun walking through that desert of toxicity the toxicity of our city of our city no we want war no yes all right everybody i don't know if this is the end of the video it probably is um that's the junkyard that these cars were here when the alien explosion alien craft landed and the government doesn't let anybody take anything because it's a secret site that i jumped the fence oh look another train to explore for you so please like and subscribe and share this way i can make a gazillion dollars from youtube I did make a hundred dollars so thank you all for that that's pretty damn exciting it may be able to give me some gas oh here's a trick if you are in California like I was let your gas run low because I'm gonna be in Arizona soon and it's like half price not really half price but it's a whole lot cheaper nothing over there all right everybody thanks for watching let me know in the comments what kind of vehicle that is and if you get it right um look there's a headlight from it if you get it right i will come back and do a frame up restoration on this i don't want to do this one because i i think it's upside down see that's the bottom but look even the seats are here you know you have to buy new seats that's the back these are the fronts um yeah this one was upside down so it's a lot harder to do because you see the frame is gone but if the frame was there i'd be able to restore this one anyway thank you very much i'm gonna go back i don't think anything exciting is gonna happen except for me finding this old bottle from well that is a pretty old bottle actually can't keep it it's a quart they don't make quarts anymore they make quarters i don't know i don't think i'm gonna take that it probably was in the car there's another one oh that's a hey eddie you're blocking the light marona mia oh i'm gonna get flagged now now i won't even be able to this video is gonna get a million views and because they said a curse word in italian oh i might take this that's a cool bottle now I'm not going to be monetized. Sticky valves, motor gums, carbon something. Oh, I'm going to keep this. I like that. That's going to go with my workshop. See, it's part of it. I bet you this was a junkyard. Most of the stuff sunk in the ground after the alien ship hit it. So that's what the problem was. The alien was looking for parts. Whoa, no deposit. That means I could keep it. Oh, that's an old bottle. All right, we're, we're heading back to Texas. So I got two bottles. And I got eight tons of rock. I got three pieces of glass. Now I got one of these. I let, Oh, this is broken. See, it's broken. It's made in USA. So it's worth money. And it's a blue one. A blue USA is worth thousands. That's not true. Hey, Eddie. Let's go. Before we go, oh, what do you guys think about the upside down flag? 
Uh, this bottle is from Iway Beverage uh, Beverages. I can't read the rest. 12 fluid ounces. IPT. IPT. That happens when you pee too. When you drink too much tea, you start peeing tea. And then below it says Durangus or something. A Durangus bottle. This is a cool one. This is definitely old. Um, something even older I found. Look, I found bubble gum. I thought it was like a rock or something. But it's actually just bubble gum. I did touch it. But luckily I got a COVID shot. So I won't get COVID from that. Um, this bottle you saw already. That's cool. Look at this. A petrified wallet. That's how old it is. Someone was trying to break into it to see if there was money. The petrified money would be in the middle there. But that's a petrified rock. And this thing. It's called a piece of glass from probably something that was very beautiful at one point. I don't think I want that. But look how it shimmer glimmers. Might as well get a little off roading in. Oh look, a rubber glove. There we go. Oh boy. This is gonna be for all the Jeep lovers. I get to say that because I have a Jeep. But I gave it to my daughter. Not that exciting, I guess. You ready coming? Alright, thank you everybody. Like, subscribe, and share. And there's a Jeep. Jeep Wave. Anyway, you don't know about the Jeep Wave. If you have a Jeep, Jeep we gotta wave to another Jeep. I guess he realized that this isn't officially a Jeep, it just is rugged like a Jeep. Did a purple flowers. Alright, that's pretty much it. You can see all the UFO damage. Bye bye.